Last time we had so much fun doubling down. Perfect morning. Opening day double here in Western New York. That we decided to do it Double once again. Zero to sixty. Just had to five double come flying in. It's the holiday season this week, and the cold weather is coming. Early fall has come and gone. We've had quite a few encounters at this point, but now it's time to hang up the bow and grab the gun. It's Thanksgiving, and like most families, we have a tradition that takes place every year. After an early breakfast, my dad and I hit the woods for the morning hunt before having to return home for a Thanksgiving feast with the family. Well, happy Thanksgiving, folks. Set up here in the hardwoods. And uh, actually, I moved the stand and, uh, a few days ago. Just wasn't seeing the deer where it was set up. I was probably a good 200 yards or so further north. And any of the deer that I was seeing in this woods was all following up closer to uh, to the hedgerow up behind me here. And you know, I just didn't see anything back there. So I uh, decided to uh, move my stand a couple days ago at dark set up in it this morning. Uh, it's a little breezy, but uh, you know I think there's going to be enough people out uh, this Thanksgiving morning, uh, hopefully pushing some deer around. So This particular morning, it was a slow start. The wind was good, but the temperature was cold. All I needed was for some people to get up, to get moving, to get some deer moving in my direction. I see these deer coming in from quite a ways out. I'm trying to get the camera on them and figure out which way they're going to come in. Talk about going from zero to sixty. I just had uh, five doe come flying in. And I had no idea which way they were gonna go, and they were zigging and zagging. And I ended up <laughs> getting the two right here. They, the other ones, they were just meandering right over there. But uh, there's some doe for the freezer. So that's the first action I've seen all day, though. I mean, it's about ten o'clock right now, and uh, looks like they got bumped because they were coming in pretty quick. So, but. Uh, I'll take it. Well, about 10 o'clock, thinking about getting down, gonna meet up with my dad and the rest of the crew here and uh, had those five come flying in. No doubt got pushed. So luckily I was able to figure out which way they were coming and stopped her right in front of the stand. They were all, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 yards and was able to take a couple dough here. And uh, it's a nice Thanksgiving, so gonna get these guys cleaned up and uh, get out of there and go meet up with the rest of them. Mark. Thanksgiving is over and Christmas is upon us. 
As the deer season nears end, another tradition takes place. Each year we head to central New York for the last week in a muzzleloader and to close up camp. Well, it's the final afternoon here in Cortland, hunting in the sugar beet field. And these deer have just been hammering it. The uh, wind's actually just started to pick up a little bit right now, taking my camera around behind me. I'm out here hunting by myself tonight and filming and hopes to hammer one of these big doe that have been spotted around here. I saw a ton of deer out yesterday. Not the same case for today though. It's been real slim pickings. But you know, hoping with sitting on this food plot that they'll be out. These deer will be coming up out of the bottoms where they've been bedding and just hitting this small food plot. So I'm gonna tuck back in here, get quiet, try to stay warm and hopefully have some luck. I couldn't see anything through the smoke. It looked like she jumped, but I have to actually take a look at the footage here. It snuck up right behind me. I wasn't sure if they were gonna come down and around, but I think they were just gonna go straight across. Boy, I hope I hit her. As I get down to check out my shot, I see another deer off in the woods standing broadside, and she has no idea that I'm there. So I duck down behind the bush, reloaded the gun for another shot. Unfortunately, I don't get this shot on film, but I know I made a good hit. All right, here you can see it's really starting to open up. Come up around here. That's where the best is. <laughs> uh, well, I just hit a huge circle, and uh, let me get you around here. She's uh, right there. She did not go far at all. Wow, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to make a phone call here and get Jeremy or Lance down here to help me get her out of here. So, After a little bit of tracking, we were able to recover the other deer and close out the muzzleloader season with a Cortland double. Well, just got back to the cabin after recovering both of my deer. You guys saw this shot. She came out. It was early. I'd say about 4 o'clock. Her and three other ones. and. Wasn't quite sure if she was going to come down towards me in the uh, beats there on the field or jet across. And I pulled the safety up and I think she was going to head straight into the woods with the rest of them. So I was able to squeeze the trigger and put her down. And then on the way out to uh, look for her, I had this one pop up in front of me and was able to put one in her too. So just got him back to the cabin, got him cleaned up, we're getting ready to uh, hang over here on the pole and have some dinner and call it a night.